Hello, everybody. Orion here. Um, you know, today I'm not going to really do my normal intro. I, I think I'm going to let what I'm about to show you speak for itself. But before we jump into that, if you guys enjoy this video and you like my, what I'm posting on my channel, and if you're new to the channel, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe and comment down below. What do you think about what I am about to show to you guys today? I want to hear what you guys have to hear about what is happening with a newer game that's coming out on the market. Um, okay, yeah, let's, uh, let's just jump right into the clip. Enjoy. So yeah, you just saw that. I know, right? It's it's crazy. It's crazy how this works. How we are now in, what is it? We are now in a third new Call of Duty game that is featuring hackers. <laughs> I know, right? It's so weird. I, I'm kind of losing my mind right now because, you know, if anything, I shouldn't even really be losing my mind because I should be thankful. I should be thankful. And you know what? Now I'm going to bring the tone down a little bit. I should be very thankful. And I'm happy. You know why I'm happy? I'm happy because I know deep down inside, I will not be playing this piece of garbage game when it comes out on release in November. Guys, I'm being genuinely serious when I say this. This could honestly be one of the biggest disasters for a video game company that we have ever seen in our entire lives. I don't know if we are ever going to see something like this ever again. Because you know why we're not? Because we haven't seen it yet happen at all. We've only seen it happen once, and it's happening right now to this game under the company known as Activision. As you see in the title of this video, Activision, are you guys out of your mind? Are you out of your minds right now? What in the ever-living hell are you guys doing over there at Activision? This is embarrassing. This is so bad. This is really, really, really bad. Guys, do you know what's that you know do you know what that clip is that I just showed you? It is the Call of Duty Vanguard beta. It is the beta. The beta, just in case you guys didn't know, a beta is something that comes out before a game releases so that people can play it and get to feel for it and, you know, kind of look and see if anything needs changes before the actual game releases. Well, guess what? You got one on your hands right now, Activision, and it's a major problem. I, I, I don't, I, I feel like I keep saying this, but I just don't know what to say anymore. This, this company, these games, are an unequivocal disaster now. I can not believe this is something we are even talking about in the year 2021. Going into 2022, by the way. Because this game will run through 2022. I cannot believe this is something we are talking about. How a new game that is releasing in present day has hackers in it already. How is this a thing? How is this a thing? Can somebody explain this to me? Clearly, I am not knowledgeable enough about how video games work to know how is it that a new video game that is releasing in present day time allows for hackers to be able to infiltrate its game. I cannot understand that. Now, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what one thing that I can think of that maybe is the issue. Because I'm not really as knowledgeable on these kinds of things as I feel like most people are. But if you didn't know this, we've had a new engine for the Call of Duty games that have been releasing uh, that have been uh, releasing recently. Um, we we have completely excuse me. We have completely moved away from the older engine from the older Call of Duty games. 
And now we have branched into something new. And it started with Modern Warfare 2019, going to Black Ops Cold War, and now here with the third game that it's featured in, Call of Duty Vanguard. Shock me if this is... Oh, actually, don't shock me if this is the case. But if I'm correct in saying this, maybe it is this new engine that is the problem. Because of all the hacking. A am I the only one that is getting that feeling that maybe it is the engine? I don't know. It it's, it's just so... It's so weird to me how all of a sudden, now that we have a new engine... And the three games that this new engine has been featured on, we have had hackers in every game that it's been in. Um, actually, wait, hold on a second. No. No, 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 no. It's not the engine. No, 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 it's not the engine. You want to know why it's not the engine? It's because the last game wasn't running on that engine. You guys notice that? Black Ops Cold War was running on the Black Ops 3 engine. The old COD engine. So it's clearly not an engine problem. So what is it? Activision. Are you going to, I don't know, for once in your life, make a public statement about these things? And try and give us some transparency as to why not only is... Your battle royale, your current battle royale right now in Warzone, hacked to all hell. But now your main game, your main functioning game, is now also run with hackers. Are you guys going to come out and say anything? No, of course not. Because you haven't really come out and said anything at all, even in the last year or so, with Warzone. You only just recently said that, oh hey guys, what's up? With the new video game coming out, the new COD game, we're going to release an anti-cheat. Hey, isn't that cool? No, it's not. You know why it's not cool? Because clearly something is going on over there at Activision and, and, and the COD devs with Sledgehammer Games, Infinity War, and Treyarch. Something is clearly going on. And I almost want to say that people need to start like investigating into this company. It's... It is blowing my mind how this is happening so recently and we have not had a COD game in two years that hasn't been riddled with hackers. Does anybody not find this strange? A am, I, am I really the only one that does not find that maybe there is something going on internally over there at, at these companies? There's got to be something. It There's no way... That Activision is this stupid. I mean, they're already dumb. But there's no way that they can be this stupid. To not come out and publicly tell us why it is that their last three games, new engine or not, why their last three games have been riddled with hackers beyond words. To the point where this is the worst stretch of hacking in video games I think I've ever seen. Especially just because of the fact that these are new games. These are not old games. This isn't Black Ops 2. Like, like, because if you don't know this, Black Ops 2 is basically the most hacked Call of Duty game right now, as far as the old regime of God, of COD games. It's the it's the most hacked one now. Um you 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 literally you try to hop in a multiplayer lobby, you're gonna find a hacker. I I mean I feel like that's just the case now with that game. And it's why nobody plays it anymore. I mean, you go on Black Ops 2 now, the player count is so drastically low. I'm just glad zombies is still alive in that game somewhat, I I guess. I don't know. But I mean, how many times have I talked about hacking now on this channel and how it just is not getting fixed? <sighs> This is just so unacceptable. I, I cannot believe I, I am talking about this right now. I can't believe I have to rant and vent so hard about this. It, it just it blows my mind. We, I, I can't believe we're living in a time and day where the topic of hackers in new video games is even something that should be discussed. I mean, seriously, Activision, for the love of God, man. Please come out and tell us why. Why are you guys... Why is this happening to your game? 
it it doesn't make sense to me. And you know what? Here's the thing. On top of that, your game's gonna suck anyway. Because if you didn't, if you guys didn't know this, the beta or betas, because there's been two separate betas now. Uh, the the new current beta is ending on Wednesday. Uh, at the time of recording this on Monday, there's two days left. Pretty sure nobody's talking about this damn beta. I don't know about you guys. I haven't heard a lick of talk about this beta whatsoever. Not one lick of talk. Not 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 even enough talk to sustain any person. I feel like to want to buy the game. I mean, this game is riddled with problems. I just saw a clip from Charlie Intel showing the uh, oh I don't know the the usual I don't know if anybody's ever seen this before I'm going to put it up on screen Has anybody ever seen this before? I'll tell you where you have seen it before. You've seen it in older games. This is the t this is a bug that we have seen time and time again occur in much older games. And you know, at the time I think a lot of people laughed it off and were like, hey, this is kind of funny. It's just a little bug. And you know what? They fixed it. They fixed that bug back in the day. Doesn't seem like they're going to probably be doing that at all nowadays. And that's a really bad bug, by the way. It's It makes the game unplayable. <sighs> man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I, I, I just... I, I, I mean, I don't know. Should I even... Should I keep making videos about this game? Because at the end of the day, I feel like I've talked enough about the game to the point where I feel like I've said everything I've had to say. Like, there's nothing really more I can say about this game to ultimately spin my thoughts about how this could end up just being one of the biggest disasters we've ever seen. Vanguard, I, I, I'm telling you now, I have a good feeling in my, in my, in my, uh, deep down, I have a good feeling that this game is not going to be well, good, and alive after two months. I, I just, I cannot stand behind that this game is going to last very long. I can't. It's just another reskin. It's a reskin. And you know why they're doing a reskin? Because they can't do anything else anymore, apparently. The, the, Activision and all these game developers are so completely ridden of originality and wanting to do something new. It, it, it blows my mind. It, it really does blow my mind how we, th this company, this, this, this IP, this video game IP has just lost all resemblance of itself. It doesn't know what it is anymore. I mean, guys, just look at Vanguard. It is a Modern Warfare 2019 reskin inside of a Call of Duty World War II reskin. It's just the two games combined into one another. Can somebody please explain to me why in the hell any person in their right mind would pay $60? Hell, now we're getting into $70 territory on a game that we've already played before. I don't know. Maybe you guys have an answer for me. I don't know. Because I don't have the answer. I don't have the answer at all. This game's not getting my money. And for the second year in a row, I am making a good decision. I am making a good decision by not spending my hard-earned money on a game that I've already played once, not once, twice before. I've played this. I played World War II, and I played Modern Warfare 2019. I certainly don't want to have to play them ever again. I really don't. I don't mind World War II as much, the game. I don't really mind it all that much. But Modern Warfare 2019, that is a hell no for me. You can get that game as far away from me as humanly possible. I should never have downloaded that game. Downloading that game and paying for it was such a huge mistake. Good campaign, multiplayer and spec ops, disasters, and then Warzone, of course. You guys know how I feel about Warzone. Whew. Well, I think that's all I really have to say, to be honest. I mean... <laughs> I can already I can already imagine that we're probably going to get more clips of this kind of stuff as the game rolls out. I don't know how much more we'll we'll see in the next two days until this beta is officially over. Um, I don't know. I really don't know, guys. This is just <laughs> this is just really comical to me. It, it's laughable. It is so laughable. I I'm 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 really laughing inside. I wish I could laugh out loud, but I don't want to do that. 
I want to save Activision some more pain because they're already in enough pain as it is. All right. I think I'm done ratting. I just needed to get that off my chest because at the end of the day, this isn't going anywhere. This, this simply, straight to the point, this is not going anywhere. Expect this for uh, for months and months to come. Guys, thank you guys all so much for tuning into this video. I really appreciate you guys all coming out and watching me talk about this. If you if you agree with me or if you disagree with me, I, I would really love to hear what you guys have to say down below in the comments section below. Please comment down below. Keep it respectful, of course. I would always appreciate that. I, I, I just, I don't know what to say. And I would really love to hear what you guys have to say. So comment down below. Hit that like and subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate that. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out, everybody.